A lady asked, if I'm imagining a thing a certain way, and I'm involved with another person who's also imagining about the same thing, but there's a difference in opinion, and they're thinking an opposite way, what's going to happen? Neville, the minute you know that he is doing it in the opposite direction, you've transferred the power that rightly belongs to you to the other. There is no he, he only reflects what you are imagining. But the minute you believe that another has power greater than yourself, you are now dividing the power that is rightly yours and giving it to him. It doesn't really matter what others are thinking, what are you thinking? And so, it is entirely up to you to either believe completely in the unity of God, the oneness of God. So the minute that you say he is doing it, you've taken the one grand confession of faith, the Shema, and divided it. When asked to name the greatest of all commandments, he named the Shema, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. So when I say, well, I'm doing this, and someone tells you, but he is doing the opposite, who is he? He is put into this world to bear witness to all that I do, not to take from me the power that is mine. So he never gave it to another. Let the whole vast world do what they feel like doing. You will find in the end that it's all been resolved. I have heard women say to me, you know, I want that man and only that man, and I don't want any other man, and don't give me any criticism about it. I want him. I said, but he's married. It doesn't matter. I want him. The only man. But I've gone to their weddings, and it was not that man. What they really wanted was to be happily married, and they tied it to a man. What they wanted was the state of blissful marriage. Tell me what you want and don't give me all the problems about what's going to stop it. The minute you start that, you are taking the Shema and shattering the entire confession of faith. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And I can't even say we are in that confession. I have to say I am. And when I go to the people and I say that the Lord has sent me, and I say he is the God of our fathers, the God of Abraham, and the God of Jacob, and the God of Isaac, what shall I say? Just say, I am has sent me unto you. So the minute I go out and I say, you are, that is something that is a shadow, and he is, that's even further away.